Hi, and welcome back to the channel. And if you're a subscriber, thank you very, very much. I'm in Aurora, Illinois, home of Wayne and Garth, at the eastern trailhead of the B.L. Gilman Trail. Let's check it out, shall we? This 11 mile paved, almost entirely, two lane trail is named after Virgil L. Gilman, who served for over 30 years as the Fox Valley Park District Administrator. He is best known for expanding the Fox River public shoreline from 66 feet to the 20 miles that exist today. This trail has 25 road crossings, but 15 are concentrated in just the first four miles. The remaining nine are spread out with three being bridged. The trail begins through a lightly wooded area for just over a mile with a short exposed stretch with houses on the right and farm fields on the left. But just after a mile in, the trail enters Montgomery where the crossings are frequent and the trail passes between homes, parks, and businesses. At 2.8 miles, the trail crosses over the Fox River on an old rail trestle that was built in 1897. At 3.4 miles, the trail is interrupted by an industrial park. Take a right at Rathbone Avenue. Then after four tenths of a mile, a left at Terry Avenue. A block later, the trail restarts to your right. From here, the road crossings decrease significantly and the trail feels much more secluded. Just before crossing Barnes Road, to the right is Blackberry Farm, a living history of pioneer life that was created by the trail's namesake, Virgil L. Gilman. Unique to this trail is its diversity of bridge crossings. There are so many different designs and eras represented on this rail to trail path. At eight miles, the trail heads over a large bridge expanse which crosses over Illinois 56. A normally small state highway expanded into a four-lane divided highway to connect the very small but affluent Sugar Grove community to Interstate 88.
Just west of Illinois 56, the trail rides next to Bliss Creek Golf Club. Beware of errant golf shots. It's that close to one of the fairways. At 9.8 miles, just after crossing Bliss Road, the trail enters the Bliss Woods County Forest Preserve, a heavily wooded area that feels more like the former Sherwood of Old England than a preserve in North Central Illinois. Just after crossing Kitaka Road, yes, you heard that right, Kitaka Road at the 10.4 mile mark. Yay, gravel. The gravel is short lived though, just lasting three tenths of a mile. Bye, gravel. The last half mile of the trail winds through beautiful open prairie land. Before terminating at Wabanzi Community College. So that's the VL Gilman Trail. About 11 and a half miles, virtually all pavement. That little patch of gravel I got so excited about was very short-lived. Pavement's in decent shape. It's a little rough in spots, but really no problems. Very level trail, a few climbs over bridges here and there, but other than that, very easy pedaling, a very smooth ride. The first four and a half miles, a lot of road crossings. After that, clears out quite nicely. The forested area that you do go through is really kind of exceptionally cool. It's very spooky. Um, you almost don't feel like you're in Illinois through that section. So I hope you enjoyed the ride. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep biking.